Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Paps here, back with another directional air roll video. And this video, much like my last one, is due to popular request. Um, and it's pretty much a follow up on my last video. So, my last video was um, talking about directional air roll in slow mo. So, we just talked about um, how to go off the wall how to turn kind of and just general control with directional air roll but in slow-mo to make it a little bit easier to um see and understand so um the most liked comment on my last video was to do a rings map or something similar to that in slow-mo as well just to see how i turn and how I control my car in the air um, with directional air roll, like I said, in slow-mo. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, go over that. And hopefully, even if I can't explain it well enough with my words, which I'm sure I won't be able to, um, hopefully the fact that it is in slow-mo and I have the controller overlay below me, um, perhaps seeing those things will make it a bit easier to uh, grasp I guess so let's just go ahead and do that um, but before I get into it as I turn slow mo mode on and everything if you guys want to follow me on twitch where I play ranked six mans and other games um, link in the description I also have Instagram Twitter blah 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 anyways let's get into the meat of the video so this is this map if you're curious if you don't know yet is called rings three um i'll just show you real quick just so i don't sorry sorry to waste a little bit of time but speed jump rings three just in case you guys are on pc and want to try it out i figured i might as well throw it in there in case someone was curious okay now let's get into it um so what i want you guys to pay attention to again it's kind of subconscious to me at this point because i've been doing it so much but pay attention to my the way i take off and pay attention to the way i'm controlling my car with the left stick to make turns and to continue my momentum throughout the map i've seen some people say it looks like i'm randomly moving my stick but I'm sure as you'll see in slow-mo, it's not random. I'm moving my car in certain ways to keep it going, but okay. Let's uh, actually do it now. And when I do rings three and stuff, I do tend to uh, over spin my car. Like as in, I'm just trying to constantly be spinning. So that way I make it harder for myself. So of course you don't need to be spinning the entire time to get through this map, obviously. But if you want to get as comfortable as you possibly can with directional air roll, I would suggest when you're doing run-throughs of this map to push yourself and um, to make it as hard as you can for yourself because you don't want it to be easy, right? Well, of course you want it to be easy, but you want to make it hard for yourself so that the easier stuff becomes even easier, if that makes sense. I've already used the analogy before, but it's like, uh, it's like putting weights on your bat for baseball when you're, uh, on deck, you know? When you take the weights off, it feels mad light. Anyways. Um, I haven't really talked much about um, what I'm doing, but hopefully you guys can see in slow-mo how I'm controlling my car. Um, I'm mostly doing the combination of tornado spinning and reverse tornado spinning. And as you guys can see, moving my car left to right or any other direction is mostly just when I'm boosting. So if I'm trying to go, you'll see it a lot on this, uh, that next obstacle. So let's just get there and then we'll talk more about it. Um, 
for the yellow rings like that. You'll see that when I'm trying to maneuver my car, I am boosting in certain spots and turning my car in order to help it. Sorry, I'm focusing. In order to get around the rings and through the rings easier. So like, as you can see here, look, I'm pointing my car, pointing my car, only boosting to slow myself down or speed myself up. Oh, I, I lost control there. I was thinking about what I was saying too much. But the concept and the principle still applies. I'm pointing my car, pointing my car. I'm, I'm boosting to slow myself down or I'm boosting to speed myself up or keep myself in the air straight up. When I say I'm boosting to slow myself down, what I'm doing is I'm boosting away from, I'm boosting away from me. So that way my car is, hold on, let me show you guys exactly what I mean. I'm doing this. I'm boosting away from the car or away from me literally so that way like I'm slowing my car down and giving myself a little more time to get around an obstacle or through a ring so that is useful for stuff like double taps to slow yourself off from the backboard so that way you can let the ball bounce it's so much it's so hard to explain with words man but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying But just in in general, air control and turning your car and getting through these obstacles is a lot of boost control and just um, putting your car in the right spot to succeed. And that comes with car control. And car control comes with a lot of practice, a lot of time, hours and hours and hours and hours. So if you don't get it at first, I promise you, the better you can control your car, the better you can con blah, blah, blah. the better you can control your car in the air. And then the better you can control your car in the air, the more effectively you can use your boost. And it just it's like a domino effect. Everything gets better with time. Okay. So I hope going through that in slow-mo gave you guys um, a little more insight onto what exactly I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually did help. I hope it helped. Again, that was by popular request. So um, I know I didn't, uh, I mean, I don't know. I was going to say, I know I didn't talk too much about how I'm controlling my car, but I feel like I did. It's just really hard. I'm, not, I'm trying not to say the same points over and over again. I'm trying to make new videos and try to give new tips as I learn as well. So, yeah. Hopefully that did help you guys. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I love to answer your questions and help you guys learn. So yeah, see you guys in the next one, like and subscribe, peace.